Okay, hello everyone. So this will be a, vid a video about determining amplitude, period, phase shift, and vertical shift. <clears throat> uh, for now, we will focus on the sine function. And in the later video, we will uh, tackle uh, other functions such as uh, tangent and maybe secant. Okay, so um, in this uh, video, it is important to uh, determine um, and memorize the normal periods of the basic, uh, of the basic trigonometric functions. Let's say we were given y is equal to sine x. Uh, we know that the normal period for that is 2 pi. So this is the same for cosecant x, that is also 2 pi. For um, cosine x also is 2 pi, as well as is uh, secant x. And tangent x is equal to pi. And the normal period for cotangent x is also equal to pi. Okay, so we will use that later. Okay, so let's see. Um, let's start with the first one, okay? So let's start with the first one, um, y is equal to sine x. So we know that the amplitude of this is um, um, the absolute value of 1, right? So that is actually um, pos uh, 1 because um, as we, if we remember, um, this is a positive 1 and this is also negative 1 in, from the graph, right? So we need to get... So this, since uh, this amplitude is a magnitude, so um, we are going to use the absolute value. Okay, so and the period, uh, as we've uh, expressed earlier inside the box, so this is, is equal to 2 pi. Okay, so that is the basic sine function. Now let us introduce some transformations and see uh, the difference. Okay, so for number 2, we get y is equal to 3 sine x. Okay. So this is of the form, from, from the modules, you will see that this is of the form A sine of x, right? So um, in order to determine the amplitude, we must get the absolute value of A, and this is um, absolute value of 3, which is equal to 3, okay? So the period will still be the same, because the period will be modified if there is a, a real number or any number multiplied by x, okay? Since that is not the case here, so we have a period of 2 pi, so still the same. Okay, so let's move to the third one. We have here um, y is equal to 3 sine 2x. Okay, now this uh, we have a modified period. Okay, so this is of the form y is equal to a sine bx. Okay, so um, this is also present in the module, so you can see this variation as well. And also how to graph this uh, particular uh, function. So let's determine the amplitude. So the amplitude here will be absolute value of A, which is equal to absolute value of 3, right? So that will be same, 3. So for the period, the formula for this is actually the normal period of this particular trigonometric function, which is sine, we got here 2 pi, divided by the absolute value of, the val of B. So since our B here is equal to 2, you will get... 2 pi all over the absolute value of 2, we will get pi. Okay, so that's it for the first three items. Okay, so let's erase it here so we can still see the given. Okay. Okay, so let's now proceed to the fourth one. The fourth one, we have y is equal to 3 sine 2x minus 4. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at the general form to, so, so that we can correctly identify a, b, and c. Okay, so it's a little bit tricky here. So y is equal to a sine, this is b, multiplied by x minus c. Okay, so c here is our phase shift. Okay, so let us identify a. So a here is equal to 3, right? And then our b here. So as you can see, this is b multiplied by x minus c. So we can actually express this as 2 multiplied by x minus 2. So now we can determine that b is 2 and as uh, this is plus pala. This is plus, okay? This is plus c, the general form. And then so, so this is b and then this negative 2 is our c, okay? So b is equal to 2 and c is equal to negative 2, okay? So the, our amplitude is equal to the absolute value of 3 again, which is equal to 3. And the same as before, our period is equal to 2 pi over absolute value of 2, which is pi. 
and then our c is equal to negative 2. So this is the phase shift, right? So as you can, in the previous video, we discussed what is the effect of subtracting uh, a value here. So this is actually 2, uh, two units to the right. Uh, horizontal shift 2 units to the right. So if this happened to be a plus, this happened to be, if c is positive 2, then we will get a shift, a horizontal shift 2 units to the left. Okay, so that's it for the vertical shift. So let's move on to the fifth one. So the fifth one is 2 sine x plus 2 minus 1. Okay, so the general form again is a sine um, b multiplied by x minus c and then minus b. Uh, I mean plus. Uh, I mean, oh wait, wait, I'm sorry. Bro. So this is 1 minus 1, right? And then this is plus d. Okay, so let us identify A. A is equal to 2, and B here is actually, so this is same as saying 1 times x plus 2, right? So B here is actually 1, and then our uh, C here is, is positive 2. Uh, this is plus C. So this is uh, positive 2. <coughs> and then our D is equal to negative 1. Okay, so <coughs> let's calculate the amplitude is equal to absolute value of 2. We get 2. For the period, we get 2 pi again divided by 1. So we get the same value, 2 pi. And then for the C, this is 2 units to the left. Okay, horizontal shift, 2 units to the left. And now this, since this is negative 1, the D here is negative 1, we will get a um, vertical shift, shift um, 1 unit downwards okay just like a vertical shift of any other uh, function okay so that's it for this uh, video and i hope you learned something and um, you'll still be using the concepts here in the next video i will apply for tangent and secant so uh, see you in the next video